Hey friends, Colt Sebastian Taylor here, adventurer, entrepreneur, and amateur filmmaker, and I've been sent this digital camera to field test for you to let you know how good it is. Let me just read off some of the stats about this fantastic, affordable digital camera. Uh, 4K, 30 frames per second, very good for video resolution. 48 megapixel photo resolution, because all these cameras, you take pictures now. Three inch uh, uh, touch screen on it. Uh, 16 times digital zoom, Wi-Fi wireless transmission and control function, so you can control the remote control. Infrared night vision for all those nighttime shoots. And then, of course, uh, records in MP4, self-timer between 3 and 20 seconds, and uh, USB 2, and uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's open this up and see what is in here. So this is an unboxing, knocking stuff off my desk here. All right, let's see here. All right, let me put this up here so I can show you all the pieces that I'm going to take out. Okay, we got ourselves an HTMI uh, cord, uh, stereo microphone instructions, user manual, always good to have. Some people just don't read the directions, and then they don't know what's going on, and it's just, just kind of silly, really. All right, let's see here. We've got a, a mount, a mount, that's pretty handy to have. Of course, a remote for, you know, you could turn the camera on. I'm not currently filming with the camera right now. You'll see that resolution later in the video. Uh, we have a, let's see what's in this. Oh, this looks like a plug for charging. Yes, it is. Standard USB plug. We've got, uh, oh, a little audio audio cord for, uh, uh, for you know, plugging in. We got ourselves a battery. Always good to know. Uh, a USB cord, got ourselves up. Here's our microphone. Now, a lot of cameras don't come with its own microphone. Okay, you usually have to buy this separately. So this is what really caught my attention on here. This is a shotgun mic uh, with various settings on it. Does, you know, you can also charge it as well, I believe. Uh, oh, another battery. You know, a lot of cameras. Do not send a microphone, and they also do not send two batteries, so you know you're dealing with quality. We've got ourselves a, oh, okay. This is goes at the end, the edge of the camera, okay? Gives you, you know, I forget what this is called. I'm, not, I'm an amateur filmmaker, I'm not a professional. So this goes at the end of the camera, and then finally, the grand finale, friends. Comes its own handy carrying case. The camera. All right. Digital video camera. Look, look, look. It holds in the palm of your hand. You can mount it to cameras. Battery goes in right there. And, uh, all right. So, I may need to charge this. So, like I said, open this for the first time. Let's see how much of a charge this has. Slide, slides right in. Very easy to swap out batteries. That's always important. Unlike some companies where you cannot take the battery out, I won't name any names. Let's see here. Oh, oh, there we are. Snapped right in. We take the lens cap off, and it's tethered. Because a lot of time, I've already lost... I don't even have the lens cap to this thing anymore. I've lost that. And we open it up. We turn on the power button. I may, like I, said, I may need to charge this. Yeah, I do need to charge this. Okay. Not, not, not unsurprising. Uh, a, lot, a lot of times you do need to charge these before you can actually use them. And then right here, we have the ports that you would need. Uh, USB, uh, the mic, and then of course the, um, the, uh, oh yes, the HD, is that HD? Yeah, HDMI. The HD cord, so you could uh, stream it to something. At the top here, we've got our modes, the... Also the uh, focus and uh, pulling back the wide and tight shots. And then the microphone would latch onto here. So anyways, I'm going to charge this. And then I'm going to show you fully assembled what it looks like. And then I'm going to film the ending to this video from this perspective to show you just how high quality of a video with the audio it is. So stay tuned, my friends. Stay tuned. And I'm back, comb my beard a bit. As you can see here, this is now being filmed on the camera, the highest possible frame rate. So you see I'm coming in excellent, excellently right now. 
but you see all the details of my lovely beard being picked up by the built-in mic there, also coming in, I think, very, very well as well. But now, my friends, I'm going to turn off the studio lights here, and you're going to see infrared night vision, so you can film at night. All right. First off, so I can, while well, lights are still on, turn the infrared on, like so. And now I'm going to turn the lights off and hopefully not fall out of my chair. Okay, it is now... <laughs> uh, Alright, okay, it's now completely dark, and this is infrared night vision where you can... I don't think the camera's there. It's pitch black in here. I'm down in the studio. You can see at night. It works very well. Obviously, this isn't military grade. And don't, don't expect to see hundreds of thousands of miles away. That'd be ridiculous, but great for some night filming. Uh, they can pick up all the details, not worry about low light. So, my friends, get this digital camera. The link is somewhere in the description below. And uh, I think it's a very good purchase for the price. It worked wonderfully for me. And now I have to figure out how to not trip her. I should have, like, cleared off the floor because this is a hazard now. So I'm going to get going and get back upstairs. And you, my friends, need to get and purchase this camera. Until next time, my friends, I'm Colt Sebastian Taylor, and I'll see you later. Maybe on night vision.